in later versions of William Branham's stage persona, after convincing his cult following that he was the return of the biblical prophet Elijah, Branham began claiming to be the fulfillment of his manifested Son of God doctrine. According to this theology, God was manifesting himself in certain individuals of the last days, especially in the prophet who was Elijah. Branham's doctrinal teaching was such that before the end of days, this quote-unquote Elijah prophet would become a god to the people of earth. After his death in 1965 left several of William Branham's prophecies unfulfilled, cult leaders such as Willard Collins and others began claiming that like Jesus Christ, Branham would rise from his grave on Easter of 1966. Collins, who would later assume the role of head pastor of William Branham's Branham Tabernacle in Jeffersonville, Indiana, also taught Branham's manifested Son of God theology that William Branham was a deity. Willard Collins explained that using this word tabernacle, William Branham was just a human vessel and that God had quote unquote tabernacled himself in Branham's human flesh. I'll tell you, he was, he was God tabernacled in the flesh. Nothing short of it. This theology and the events that transpired after the death of William Branham resulted in several splinter groups that claimed that William Branham was Christ. Many of these splinter groups baptized new converts in the name of William Branham. One such splinter group in Texas created an online store to purchase products professing the deity of William Branham. The Mission Evangelical Branham Church of Texas store has coffee cups, t-shirts, baby changing mats, and more with the slogan, William Marion Branham is God. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.